Lucy is six years old. She's a red-headed spitfire firecracker. <laughs> She's a, she walks into the room and she just lights it up. About two minutes later, her mood might change. <laughs> she tried to stab another student with a pencil. He had a real rough go when he was little, trying to go to school um, in the principal's office more than anything. My son's name is Aaron, and he is 14 years old. Um, he has been struggling with mental health since he was in two. Every year, students who, for a variety of reasons, including developmental disabilities and mental health issues, have behavior that's it's unmanageable at a comprehensive school and get expelled. Uh, we've had students who have been impacted by, uh, by poverty, by fractured homes by drugs. We didn't know how to meet the needs of this group of kids and especially the growing number. So we were, we were desperate for a solution. The school districts looked to Educational Service District 112 to develop an alternative to serve students with special behavioral needs. In 2016, Quest Academy in Longview, Washington open to serve Cowlitz County's children. So we really view behavior as a lack of skills, um, not a lack of will. In fact, most of our students work harder than anybody um, to try to do the right thing. It's just really, really difficult. What is your favorite farm animal, Melody says? Quiet! Okay. You need to be quiet. That's our get ah! Perfect. The ideal person who works here loves kids to their core, um, and they have patients that are just abounding with patients and a real true understanding that kids don't want to be misbehaving. They don't want to participate in ugly behavior. Um, for whatever reason, it's a skill that they've learned to cope with whatever life has brought their direction. And our job is to really assess their skill set and dig deeper and see what skills they're lagging and work to equip them with the skills to really handle any situation that comes their way. Students from kindergarten to 12th grade divide into classrooms and spend the day with academics and social skill building. There's even time to pet Gracie, a therapy dog whose soft fur can calm an anxious child. I think as a teacher it's very important to sometimes encourage our students to believe that they are, you know, successful because a lot of times they might not hear that. Even after only one year at Quest, staff and parents are seeing a remarkable change in children. And what I've seen just since last year is more maturity, um, coming out and socializing more. These people here have just turned him around. I get emotional because this is Aaron's saving grace. Who am I? A writer! Who am I? A writer! You know, they just want that one person that sees them for who they are and to, to acknowledge them and, and to, to be there with them through their challenges. Patrick, can you close that Quest Academy that also works reading? closely with family members to encourage Thank techniques so that work at home. I appreciate that. Phrases that she's learned here at school, we've been able to emulate at home. After a while, students should be able to return to their former schools and classmates. The goal is always for them to exit Quest. Quest isn't a place where we want students to come and finish out their school career. Quest has played such a key role in that because they've been able to show him how he's progressed and how well he can do. He wants to graduate and go to school and actually come back to a place like Quest and help kids the way he's being helped. Every staff member is being trained to understand that's just a game changer for kids. 